if it exists, it, it's very, very rare. Uh, I think that it, the term victimless crime is a label that is used to, to make us feel good about certain things. But the law is out there to protect us as a whole, as a society. And I think that many times things that we think that are victimless crimes tend to be disproven. One of the examples that comes to my mind is jurisdictions and other states where there has been an advocacy for legalizing prostitution. Uh, the argument has always been, well, it's a victimless crime because these are two consenting adults. But what we've seen now is that it is not a victimless crime, that it, it brings a product that we don't like, human trafficking and things of that nature. So the more that we go through and, and look at an impact on society of these victimless crimes, we see that there are victims. So I would suggest to you that that's a label that we shouldn't throw around with a lot of ease. I think society as a whole tends to be the victim and we need to highly scrutinize any activity that we think doesn't harm the individual. We need to look at our community and safeguard our community.